rocking and rolling. My name's Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so some of you might be wondering, wait, Greg, I thought your videos were out on Mondays. Uh, remember that now we've moved over to that YouTube membership, so I'm not saying that you guys need to pay, Absolutely not. Uh, so for those that aren't part of the YouTube memberships, there's different tiers, so you can go ahead and, and click on that membership link and uh, check all that out, see what's best for you. But only the learn and win tiers are gonna be getting those videos early on Mondays, and for everyone else, it's gonna be on on Thursdays, like we have today. So this drill is gonna be great for uh, players that are more like the containers on the field. They need to stop movement, uh, but this really can be used by everyone on the field. It's not necessarily just gonna be them. Front players can use this just as much as any other player on the field. So, what is it? Well, basically what you're gonna be doing is really learning how to get that roll back and getting into that shot because a lot of times, just because you get put in, doesn't mean that you need to stop shooting. Doesn't mean that you need to uh, come off of your lane. You can still do your job and be able to kind of pull your shoulder back and shoot into the next area. What this allows you to do is actually kind of trick players. So what this drill is helping you with is being able to still contain a player in a certain spot or being able to just flat out eliminate them um, because you're able to shoot into the next gap. You're essentially tricking them or baiting them. Uh, you still have control of them and stopping them from making that move. Now, either you're going to uh, put paint into the area that they're gonna be going into and they see it and they don't move, or it's going to trick them and when you pull back to shoot, you're still completely blocked out, you're still, uh, you still have control and are able to uh, put the paint in where it needs to be. So all you need for this drill is two targets. Um, I would recommend a higher and a lower target, just so that way you can kind of simulate more of someone trying to dive through. Uh, the, the kind of medium to high target, that can be whatever size you'd like it to be. If you wanna practice uh, the different sizes, different heights, that's gonna be great. Just gonna help with changing things up a little bit. There is a variation that I'm gonna be showing you guys in a little bit as well. So what you're gonna be doing is picking, uh, you actually don't even need other bunkers. You need one bunker for sure because you need to be snapping out of it. But the other bunkers you don't even necessarily need to have. I know uh, when we go out to the field and I show you the drill, uh, we're shooting at a target and simulating a gap between two Doritos. You can just have two targets set up and do the same exact drill. So all you're going to do is come out, you're going to snap at the target. You can do this as many times as you would like if you want to have it where you have to shoot it two or three times before you roll off to shoot into the next gap, that's completely fine. It's gonna be up to you. It's gonna be more of a challenge, which uh, as you get better at this, you should make it where I need to shoot this target four or five times in a row before I roll off. Uh, so what you're doing is you're coming out, snapping like just any other time, and then basically imagine that that player has now shot back at you, has a really good shot, and you are starting to get the muscle memory to be able to pull your shoulder back. And what this is allowing you to do is pull your barrel and point into the direction of where it is that they are gonna be going to. This kind of stuff is gonna help you with, like I said, containing the player, making sure that they don't make that move. If they do try to go through, you have a very high percentage of being able to eliminate that player on the move. So you can almost give up that shot and then roll off and shoot into the gap that they're gonna be going into. So let's go ahead and uh, let me show you how this drill is done. Uh, so real quick, go out to the field, show you a, a clip of me doing the drill, and then I'll come back and talk about some of the variations. So one of the variations that you can do is actually having it where you have to snap 
high and then drop to a knee, snap low and then roll off. You can also change it where you start low, come up high and then roll off. This way, again, you're getting used to having that muscle memory to be able to pull that shoulder back so that basically essentially what you're doing is just kind of pulling the, the marker towards your nose so that, that way you're able to shoot into the gap, still stay tight and be able to shoot into where it is that they are going to be going. You have to think about paintball like chess where there's going to be this makes the most sense that the player wants to get here. If they are on the Dorito side, it's most likely they want to go and bump down the Dorito side. It's going to be uh, less likely, not unlikely, but less likely that they are moving inside and doing something else. Absolutely possible, but this way you're, you're kind of putting pawns and moving things to be able to make it where you have the best chance of winning. With these variations, it just helps you to be able to, it doesn't matter if you're on a knee, if you're high, if you're in like a medium position where you can roll off. So like coming out. So practicing this with someone watching you is super important. You wanna make sure that as you pull back that you're still staying tight that you're still making it where your profile is very small you want it to be that you have the highest percentage of staying alive for this and the last variation what you can do you can take either of those first two and uh and do this same thing but you have it where you're snapping and you wait for someone to tell you now or you can if you have a code for you know the guy is putting me in or something whatever it might be that's okay uh, we are just using now and you're reacting to that, that signal to then roll off and shoot into that gap. So you're snapping, you hear now, and you pull off and shoot into the gap to eliminate that player that might be trying to make that move. So thank you again to everyone that has already become a part of the uh, membership. So whether you're part of watch, learn, or win tiers, uh, whatever uh, section it is that you chose. For those that are just flat out broke, I completely get it. So please, this is not like a, a jab at you or anything like that. I just appreciate people that have already started supporting the channel uh, in that way. I know I already had a Patreon before, um, but I think this is going to be a lot better and be able to provide more content. Uh, for those that are part of the learn and win tiers, I'll be... Uh, announcing probably on a short or something like that when we'll be starting to do those live streams uh, so we can have some conversations with that. But uh, go out and try this drill. Tell me what you guys think. Is it something that you enjoy, something you don't enjoy? Uh, maybe a variation that I didn't even think of that could be great. Use everything to your advantage. So you can have a bigger distance, you can have a smaller distance, whatever it might be. This is gonna be something that's gonna help you to be even more deadly on the field. So thank you again to everyone, and as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.